Hi, welcome to T-Bugs Records, new arrivals for the week of January 28th. Please subscribe, please pass this along. Speaking of which, we are doing a sale this coming weekend, Saturday and Sunday. 15% uh, off everything if you subscribe to the station. So whether you're, you've already subscribed or you're going to subscribe when you make the purchase, 15% off everything. Hope to see you in here for that. Uh, let's see, this... This past weekend, Laura and I went to Cleveland, specifically the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It was phenomenal. Highly recommend it. So the first lot is things I bought there. Uh, they did sell some records in the gift shop, but, you know, retail price. I can't really buy those and sell them and make any money. But at the airport, they had another gift shop there, another Rock and Roll Hall of Fame gift shop. And they had a promotion of buy one, get one 50% off. So I was able to uh, get a few things. I got six albums there. Uh, and here we go. So the first one is Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Live. This has 10 songs of either uh, bands doing songs at the Hall of Fame or combinations of bands and singers and, you know, playing together. The highlight of this, I haven't even listened to it yet, but the highlight is uh, Prince... Tom Petty, Jeff Lynne, uh, Steve Winwood doing uh, While My Guitar Gently Weeps. If you haven't seen that, go watch it right now. Um, it's on YouTube. Just put in Prince Hall of Fame. It's all you're going to need. Uh, and go watch it right, right now. I'll wait. Okay, we're back. That, that was my comedy routine. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, so I'm <laughs> probably, probably about 38 on this. I actually bought two. I need to listen to it. So one I'm going to sell sealed, the other one I'm going to open up for myself, and maybe at some point I'll sell it. Let's see, the, the rest of them I, I bought, obviously these are all new things. Uh, the rest of them are just classic rock things that are hard to find these days and I don't have, so might as well grab them. Uh, one is News of the World. I get these. I've had a few of these lately, but they're, I'm all out now, so always good to have. Uh... These are all going to be around 30. That queen will be 32. That's just my queen price. That seems to work. But these will all be 30, 32-ish. Uh, Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. Very hard to find the original of this. Uh, Aladdin Sane, David Bowie. I love this album. feel like opening it, but I'm not going to. Uh, let's see. And finally... Jimi Hendrix, Are You Experienced? Again, I haven't had this one for a while. So, you know, good to have it. Let's see. Then the next three I bought from a record store. We, we had we had two record stores that we were going to uh, and that we just found online. Uh, one of them, it turns out, they're not in business anymore. The other one was a small place. It was okay. It was really more focused in punk, which is cool. Uh, things I didn't like. So some of the records you really had to look at because, you know, they did have scratches on them. And they had the new stuff and the pre-owned stuff together, which... I'm just not a fan of. But I did end up with three things. I haven't seen this one in a while. Uh, Pink Floyd, Momentary, Lapse of Reason. Got to do a little more research, but I'm thinking close to 40 bucks for that. Uh, this is True Stories Soundtrack, a film by David Byrne. So this is different than the True Stories LP, the Talking Heads True Stories. Um, this, is, this is a double. It, it uh, feels new just because the weight of it, um, meaning just a, a new release of it. Probably around, again, 32 has been my talking heads price, so I'll stick with that for that. And finally, Plasmatics, probably about 18 for this one. Okay, the next lot was one that came in when I was away. Uh, Dylan was here, a lot of you know Dylan. Uh, generally, when I'm not here, I don't like to do much business involving buying things. But I always tell Dylan, if there's something, you know, that someone's coming in with really good stuff, let me know. So, good job out of him. He gave me a call. Ended up paying 50 bucks uh, for about 25 records. And I'm only going to show you about half. Uh, these are the highlights. But, you know, these are all in beautiful condition and, you know, some good stuff. Uh, Jeff Jethro Tell Aqualung. Uh, this is the textured cover, which makes a little bit of a difference. Uh, so probably, I'm guessing somewhere around 18 for that. 
Let's see, Paul Butterfield, always good to have some blues. Is this double? No, I don't believe it is. Nope. Okay, probably about 15 for that. Neil Young, American Stars and Mars, probably, probably nine bucks. Uh, Credence, Credence Green River. I really need to look up the pressing on this, but I, I'm thinking it's 80s. It just seems 80s to me. <laughs> um, but assuming it's 80s, probably 16, 18 bucks. Uh, Jackson Brown will be eight bucks. Iron Butterfly and the God of the Vida will be about 10, I think I usually get for them. Let's see, we have Eagles, their greatest hits. I've been out of eagles. I got some more eagles. They come and go so fast. Uh, so I think I have 18 on those. I think I have one other. Bob Seeger. Bob Seeger. It's good to see Bob Seeger being a little more into me on these days. Uh, and these will be like maybe nine bucks. Uh, but for a while, I don't know why. I, I couldn't give Bob Seeger away. I've never really understood why. Um, great albums. A couple Springsteen. Darkness, Born to Run. Uh, Born to Run is going to be a little more, probably about 18. Um, Darkness on the Edge of Town, probably 13-ish. Like 18 to 20. Um, it's gone up. I haven't seen one in a while. Uh, now for the opera section. Leontine Price. Don't know much about opera, but I did look it up, and there is some value here. This is at the Met Sealed. Probably put about 14 on that. You never know. South's Greatest Hits. This one looks pretty good. This is Almond Brothers, Leonard Skinner, Dr. John, things like that. Probably about 15. Steely Dan, Asia. Always good to have. I think I'm out. Maybe up to about 24 now. And finally, we got the Dave Clark 5. Glad all over. I definitely have to look up the pressing on this one. Could make a huge difference. Uh, and this, I don't know why, I never find this one in good condition. I see it all the time, but it's always scratched, doesn't even have the um, inner sleeve. This one's beautiful, so very happy to have this. Assuming it's not in real early pressing, probably about 15. Let's see, uh, just got a couple here that were here. <laughs> I don't even remember what this story, I think I missed I was going to put them in another video and forgot or something. Um, Teddy Pendergrass. I was surprised by this. I really enjoyed this. I thought he was kind of softer. And there, there's some of that, um, but there's some very funky stuff. It reminded me of um, Marvin Gaye, both in the softer stuff and in the funky stuff. So I really enjoyed that. Probably, I'm thinking 14. Um, Say Chic. Including, um, what's that, La Freak? La Freak. So Disco, again, Funk's gone up a lot. Disco's gone up a little. Probably nine bucks in that. Okay, so the last lot is things somebody brought in. Um, man, I think I'm going to be doing business with him in the future, too. I think he's, he's... I bought, if you remember, Tom Petty, the ones I bought from... I think that was the last video. I bought that from him, so he said he'd bring in some more, he brought in some more. I think this, you know, going to be a good person to know. So we'll start with Jim Croce, because I really needed Jim Croce. I didn't realize how much I needed Jim Croce. I was totally out, and I, I a couple of people come in look asking me about him, and I was like, yeah, sure, come over. I got a bunch. I hit zero. So I haven't been able to find any either until now. Um, there are some issues on the back. It's a double album, probably around nine packs. Uh, Eagles, Desperado, I'm guessing around 12 or 13. Uh, Journey Escapes, probably about Journey Escape. I'm saying Journey Escape is, but forget that. Journey Escape is probably about 15 now. I'm in a little bit of a, bit of a mood. <laughs> All right, so Dire Straits, probably in arms. Uh, the sleeve has some issues. Not the best leaves, but it looks beautiful. Um, I've got a 24. We'll keep it there and we'll see. Uh, a couple of Bowie changes. One, 
and Diamond Dogs. These will probably be about 30 each. Uh, Black Sabbath Paranoid. Great to have this, even though the sleeves. Not perfect. The album's not perfect either. I haven't listened to it yet. It's Monday. Um, so the price will be based on what it sounds like. Um, but yeah, if it's really not very good, then it'll go in the discount rack. But hopefully it'll be good. Uh, ACDC back in black. I think those are around 25 now. Uh, Stevie Nicks, Stand. No, The Wild Heart includes Stand Back. Which I'm guessing that makes it an early pressing. Um, I mean, it's an 80s album, so. Yeah. But uh, this one really sells quickly, so I may have to put this up to like 18. Uh, let's see, Judas Priest, Unleashed in the East. I just sold this one. Probably somewhere around 20. I forget exactly what I sold it for. And we will finish with Rush. Let's start with this Archives. So Archives is three albums, uh, Rush, Fly By Night, and Caress of Steel. All three albums, uh, you know, the full albums, probably around 50 bucks for this. And Fly By Night. Let me do these together. These are the ones that people are really looking for with the Rush. These are the more expensive. So Rush and Fly By Night, I've had these before. I think I sold them for 40 to 45, so they're going to be right around there. Uh, and a couple more of the Down to Earth. Why am I not remembering the name of this? Permanent Waves. I knew the word wave. So Permanent Waves, I think, is about 25, and same with Grace Under Pressure. So all that, the last lot was $150. So I think it did well. So that's about it. Don't forget about the sale um, this Saturday and Sunday. And, you know, tell other people if they don't know about it, if they haven't subscribed, all you got to do is get on your phone and subscribe on YouTube, and it's 15% off. Obviously, it's 15% off anybody who's watching the video. All right. Hope to see you in here. Thank you.